Hey guys, welcome to LZH Project. My name is Salman Francis and this is scripting edition of our LZH Project series. In this series, we will discuss about Bash or Born Again Shell. Well, Bash is native in Linux and most widely used shell. So let's start. Uh, first, let's check where the Bash resides. Uh, a which Bash will reveal that it resides in slash bin directory. This is one of the most important command as it tells you that where your bash basically resides. So one more thing about this series guys that this is not going to be a advanced programming series or something which which is going to tell you a lot about programming or something. This is a very basic scripting uh, series and it's basically intended for Linux admins or Linux users who just want to have a basic understanding of bash. So let's see a few of our commands before we start scripting in bash. Uh, and these commands are cat, uh, which is used to see the content of file. Or if you guys are following my Linux video series, you guys should have some understanding about these commands. So let's uh, create a file, uh, touch cell.txt, and let's write some uh, content in this. This is a test file. I am working on Linux. Let's say. Okay. Now to check the content of the file, we'll use cat and cell.txt. Okay. Then there is the command called wc. It's short for word count. Okay. So let's wc for this uh, cell.txt and it's telling 2, 10, and 42. Okay. So what does it mean? Okay, let's take help. And wc-c means bytes, m is character, n is lines. So we need to check how much lines this file have. So in order to check that, we will use, let me clear the screen, wc-l cell.txt and it's telling that it has two lines. Okay. Okay, what about uh, other options? Uh, let's go back. Help. And with the W, we get the word count. Okay, so it has turned 10 words. Let's go in the file and count it. And two lines. So it's uh, two lines. We can see one and two. And the words are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yeah, it's space 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yep. Yeah. So it has 10 words and 2 lines. So that's how this WC command works. Okay. Now if we need to check let me go out let let me create another file touch cell one dot txt okay this command is really important file dash s cell one which we just created okay and it's telling you that it's an empty file so that's how you check the file is empty or not let's check the same command with our cell dot txt and it's telling that it has ascii text so this is the command which will tell you file dash s will tell you that it's empty or not okay so that's how you check a file okay and wc dash l for lines wc dash w for uh, how many uh, how many words are there okay so some other um, important commands uh, one of the most important command is echo dollar sign with question mark. So what does it say? It's basically it tells the command uh, was uh, successfully uh, ran or not. For for example, let's say ls. 
equal. A zero means that it was successful. What about if the command doesn't exist? One twenty seven, it's an error. So this means that the command doesn't exist. What about ls dash aaa? Yep, command runs successfully, zero. So basically it's kind of boolean, like zero means true and one means false. There are some error codes also. Um, okay, I'll show you this in a while. So there is another command, it's called test. And test basically tells you it tests uh, the conditions. For example, let's test 100 is less than LT. LT is used for less than uh, 200. And we know that this is true. So if I press enter, nothing is going to show up in the screen. But with an echo of uh, dollar sign and question mark, it will give us zero because it's true. Okay, what about if we just change this? Like test 300 is less than 200, and we know that it's false. And how we are going to uh, know that it's false or not? Let's echo, and there's your one which clearly explains that it's a false condition. Okay. So, let me clear the screen. Okay. The same way, like LT is used for less than, EQ is used for equal, GT is used for greater, greater than, GE means greater or equal to, LE is less than, and NE is not equal to. So, you guys need to uh, make sure you know these things lt eq eq gt ge le -E -E. okay <clears throat> so let's go back to our own ex the old example test um 200 is equal to 200 okay equal yes it's correct Okay, so now you have a basic understanding of these things. And what about like, um, let's check a file is empty or not. Okay, first, yeah, how we can check the file exists or not. It's used with the dash E command. Okay, so test E. Uh, I have not checked it will work with this or not but cell.txt okay equal and it's true okay what about the file let's say cell 2 doesn't exist okay so let's check test hyphen e cell 2.txt and it should return 1 actually and there we have it so perfect everything is working fine okay let's make a directory mkdir cell okay okay so we have this uh, we have created the cell directory and I just cleared the screen uh, so let's check if this directory exists and to check if the direct directory exists I'll use test dash D um, cell okay and echo of dollar question mark will reveal zero that it does exist what about cell 2 it's one so that's how basically we check um, existing and non-existing files and this is really important so you guys must understand and what I'm going to do is I'm going to just end my first part of batch script over here you guys should have a good grasp on this and on our next video, or let me create our first uh, script right away, okay? So, let me clear the screen, and as always, we will create hello world. So, vi, and I'm going to give this name, oh, okay, I'm not going to 
create the script over in this video because it needs some more explanations. I'll see you in next video. Please do subscribe to my YouTube channel, like us on Facebook and thank you very much for watching.